Hello and welcome to this video. In this demo, we will walk through you the process of setting up email retention policies and ensuring compliance within the Microsoft 365 environment, focusing on Exchange Online. Because you know, the email retention policies help organizations manage the life cycles of emails, ensuring that the messages are retained or deleted in accordance with the organization policies or regulatory requirements. Now to perform the hands-on and to access the Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal, let's move to this Microsoft 365 Admin Center and you can directly provide the URL and you just go to compliance.microsoft.com or if you have already logged in, to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, then you can click to the compliance and it will navigate you to the compliance.microsoft.com. And here you need to log in with your administrator credentials. And once you log in, so you will see that it shows the menu and the options on the left hand navigation pane. And here you can see that you have a few more options available. And here you need to click to the solution section here and as soon as you click to the solution section this area allows you to manage retention policies for organizations data now here all you need to do is to go to the data life cycle management and click here and here once you click to the data cycle management then click to the exchange legacy and here we are going to review and create the new policy for MRM retention policies so click on this option and once you click here then you will see the default MRM policy and here's the button for the new policy so click to the new policy button and in configure your policy section you will provide a name for your retention policy then click to add the tag and select the retention tags you want to include in this policy then the retention tags define the action to be taken on messages such as deleting or archiving them after a certain period. Now here I'm going to name it as GSS Compliance CMP and then click to add the tag and here you have to choose retention tag from the list here and here it says the one month delete which is type personal period is 30 days then one week delete one year delete deleted items default two years move to the archive junk email that's selected and here's the option never delete personal one year move to the archive so these are the way your email boxes will manage the emails that after one year these emails will be moved to the archive or for the five years recoverable item 14 days 14 months and here one week delete or one month delete you can select any of the options here which better suits to your you know environment and your compliance then deleted items click to the select so what happens that after you select this specific tag to your retention policy your email will be deleted from the deleted items and it cannot be recovered in the same way you have this never delete option so let's go with the never delete that will much more easier to verify and test then personal never move to the archive. So all you know, the, all the tags explain themselves once you read the tags here. So once you make your selection on the tags, then click to add, and the tags will be added like that. Then click to the next button, and here's the review of your policy. So this is the name, and these are the tags. And if you wanted to add it after reviewing that, you need to click to the edit, and you can then. You know change the tag or customize or write some more or delete any of the tag that is mentioned here then click to submit and it will take a while to submit this new policy and here you can see it says your policy is created and the next step is already mentioned here and that is what to apply this retention policies to the mailboxes in exchange online you will need to go to the recipient mailbox in the exchange admin center and from there you can edit the retention policy assigned to a mailbox by the detailed panel that appears when you click on the mailbox and here it shows the button so why not go with the tabs and flow it shows 
then click to the done and this is the thing that is left right now to apply this retention policy and here once you log in to the exchange admin center because if you haven't logged in and you just click to the button so it will definitely ask you to the lo to log in with your administrative credentials then under the recipients click to the mailbox and here you can select the mailbox from there and here once you open it then click on the mailbox policies which is you know not visible here because let's let's cross it and here's the mailbox delegation let's check because they have you know rebranded and changed this few option in the past few years that's why things are changing continuously okay so this is the shared mailbox and we need to apply this policy we can apply it on both the shared mailbox and the user mailbox as well so to apply this newly created retention policy all you need to do is to click to the mailbox and here switch to the mailbox tab because definitely something related to the mailbox policy you will find there and then here under the retention policy you have this link manage mailbox policies so click to this option and here you can see a few drop downs the sharing policy we haven't customized and created this one role assignment policy retention policy so we have created and deploy the new retention policy and once you click to the drop down you will find the one that you just created then select that specific retention policy and click to the save button and it will take a while to update this mailbox policy and then you will see this message and it says it may take up to five minutes for these changes to appear then close this flyout from the right top corner well to ensure the retention policy has been applied successfully you can check this status by clicking on the mailbox of any individual user then go to the mailbox section and scroll down and under the retention policy you will find the newly created policy is there that means that the mailbox retention policy has been applied